For the news tonight, I'm Roy Sundrix. Thanks for joining us. The Guyana Fire Service was called into action this afternoon to put out a small fire at the Singh and Sons store on King Street between Regent and Robb Streets. An employee of the store told reporters that she was inside the barn when she saw smoke coming from the roof of the building. Well, a customer came in the store and I went to the back to get the goods and when I go I see the fire coming from the ceiling from the top and after I called for one of the porter boy and he come and then he got run up for the bucket for um, full of water and then he tell the boss man from the top of the ceiling the fire went. An alarm was raised and the staff and passers-by formed a bucket brigade to minimize the damage as the fire trucks made their way to the scene. The owner of the business place, David Singh, said it was his employees that raised the alarm. He could not give an estimate of his losses so far. The firemen managed to control the fire from getting out of hand. And so I'm not going to tell me the fire. So I called the fire at the same time. And by that time, the bucket brigade started and they helped the thing with the fire. I don't know, I have no idea how the fire comes. Which, which one is the source? This one is. By this time, scores of persons gathered to get a glimpse of what was taking place. The police quickly took control of the scene and cordon off the area to allow the Guyana Fire Service to do their work. Gregory Wickham, divisional officer of the Guyana Fire Service, said the firemen were able to locate where the fire started. An investigation is currently on the way to ascertain the cause of the fire. More news on the other side of this break. Stay with us. Hey. Looky there, let me go and take your boots. Boots? No, mama, mama, I ain't gonna get a lack of teeth in them big stinky 30 second boots. Plus, it can be more cheaper online. And, don't get my favorite color, pink. Let me go on. Online shopping, cheaper, faster, better. Pass back. Public demand. Comfort sleep, big tent sale. Let's do it again. This time bigger. Saturday, the 28th of April, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. At Comfort Sleep, 49 Eccles Industrial Site, East Bank, Demerara. Come, get unbelievable discounts. Pillow top spring fill mattresses, back support spring fill mattresses, Euro top spring fill mattresses, and other spring fill mattresses in standard size, queen size, and king size. Buy two pillow, get one free. Big discounts on beds and more. Mark the date: Saturday, the twenty-eighth of April. Comfort sleep, sleep on, dream on. Welcome back. Acting Commissioner of Police David Ramnarine said three subordinate officers have been removed from traffic headquarters. The ranks were said to have been involved in a scam in the Lorna's driver's theoretical examination. Ram Narayan was speaking to reporters this morning at Ivlery. He said he took a position despite the investigation not being completed to do a number of things, which includes the seizing of all the scripts from the April 12th exams. Resorting actions that are inherent in an investigation. And once those actions prove that there is a certain level of culpability on the part of members of the force in this investigation as it is ongoing, I will take the incremental action as required. And that, the, the, there is evidence that at least three subordinate officers would have had a significant hand in that nonsense that happened there at the Felix Austin Police College. The Office of Professional Responsibility was calling to investigate what the police say were massive irregularities in the Guyana Police Force Lorna Driver's theoretical examination, which took place on Thursday, April 12th, at the Felix Austin Police College in Georgetown. 174 persons were registered to write the examination, but 106 persons presented themselves on the day in question. However, 207 scripts were received at the conclusion of the examination, and 155 of the 207 scripts were completed. The top cops said the involvement of the Cops and Faith Community Network is very invaluable to the work of the Guyana Police Force.
Hashtag a man's beer. Back by public demand. Come for sleep, big tent sale. Let's do it again. This time bigger. Saturday the 28th of April. From 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. At Comfort Sleep, 49 Eccles Industrial Site, East Bank, Demerara. Come, get unbelievable discounts. Pillow top spring fill mattresses, back support spring fill mattresses, Euro top spring fill mattresses, and other spring fill mattresses in standard size, queen size, and king size. Buy two pillow, get one free. Big discounts on beds and more. Mark the date Saturday, the 28th of April. Comfort sleep. Sleep on, dream on. Karibi rice from the lush rice fields of Guyana straight to your home. Ruby Rice, our people, our rice. Already serving lengthy jail sentences, two prisoners are likely to have more time added to that which they were initially sentenced to. Today, two inmates of the Maseroni prison appeared before Chief Magistrate Anne McLennan in the Georgetown Magistrate's Court where they were both charged with collecting monies on the false pretense while pretending to be First Lady Sandra Granger. Paul Lohing, who is serving an 83-year sentence for the murder of his girlfriend, Shalola Gilgis, in 2012, allegedly obtained $30,000 worth of cell phone cards from Basmati Singh under the pretense that he was the First Lady and could have awarded her a scholarship. In the second case, Lo Hing was charged jointly with Wasim Mohammed for allegedly obtaining the sum of $30,000 in cell phone cards from Beverly Harris in 2017 at Madhya by pretending to be the First Lady and was in the position to grant her a scholarship. The calls, according to the prosecutor, were made to the women from cell phones in the prisoner's possession at a Maseroni prison. Singh transferred the credit from a vendor at Tushin, while Harris did so from Madhya. Both men denied the charges against them and were remanded to prison until May 4th. A prisoner was today released on $100,000 bail for attempting to commit a felony. The man, Clifford Rodney, 66 years old of Savannah Park, New Amsterdam, appeared before Magistrate Leron Daly in the Georgia Magistrate's Court, where the charge of attempting to commit a felony was read to him. The court was told that Rodney, between April 24 and 25, 2018, was caught attempting to gain entry into VJ's fashion on Avenue of the Republic. Owner of the establishment, Albert Ramkalan, was informed by security that someone was attempting to break into the store. The businessman said when he arrived, Rodney was caught and handed over to the police. Despite the prosecutor's objection to bail, Rodney was released on $100,000 bail and is expected to be back in court on May 18th. That's a wrap for this edition of News in Depth. Do join us again same time on Monday for another edition.